And now we're going to go on and look at our uh, stats. So we have 21 days of inventory. It, the single family homes have gone down. However, if you'll notice, I have adjusted everything to the $430,000 median price range. And that is the median price range in our zip codes. Now, um, let's see. If you look over here, they're saying at the end of December, it was 425. And this just came out today, I believe, or maybe it was late yesterday. This is the December uh, snapshot, housing snapshot provided by um, LVR and uh, George McCabe does this. I love him. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So the only difference between them and us is we say 430, they say 425. But if you go in the MLS and do the stats, like I showed you yesterday, it actually shows 430. And I'll show you that just so you know. This was the stats from the MLS in our zip codes, which I have listed in the group, all the zip codes that covered the Las Vegas area. And one of the things I wanted to share with you today is in here, let me hide this for just a second. I highlighted up here. What they do is they use Clark County, Nye County, Lincoln, White Plains uh, counties in Nevada. And from time to time, they allocate um, other areas as well. Hi, Karen. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I started on time this morning. So <laughs> imagine that. Um, anyway, so yeah, I wanted everybody to see the difference. Now, these, these other counties, you know, don't necessarily have um, you know, the high um, prices that we do. So it, it does affect the median price when you add in other counties and their sales. So I just wanted to make that clear because if, and also if you read in the review journal today, they also, um, they, they got this. I think George sends it to him as soon as he does it. And they uh, did a, a piece on that as well using the 425 in any event, um, we listed 76 homes yesterday. We put 81 under contract and we closed 80. Uh, so we're just bobbing along here. And year in month to date, my gosh, it's the sixth month of Jan sixth day of January, and we've done 65 homes a day. Amazing. And that's compared to last year, same time we were doing 56 homes a day. For the year, of course, 326 and that's 65. And last year, uh, we ended the year with 139 sales a day. So we'll see what happens the first month. We've got a few more, what, what do you have, three more weeks? Oh my gosh, time does fly. Million dollar homes slow down a little bit. And um, we're down to two, when, two plus a day. We Last year, we were at four and a half a day. We'll see. I think that you'll see more of the million dollar homes come on the market and the sales will go up. Um, although the availables haven't changed that much, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not so sure about that number, why it's so low right now. The other thing I did is I adjusted the median price single family homes um, under <clears throat> and what we have on the uh, MLS that's under 430 under the median. We listed 31 yesterday, which that's terrific. And that gives us 703 homes that are 430,000 and under. Then I did the home price of 430 with 10% down, interest rate at 3%, loan amount being 387,000. When you put 10% down, that's your loan amount. And principal interest taxes and insurance make a payment of $1,973. And for our average home, um, the rents are probably pretty competitive right now with that. So that is our outlook. The, um, the investor sales were, were 26 uh, a day, again, down a little bit, but it's the first week of the year. So uh, things are going to adjust as we go along.